Hey, what's up everybody? This is Iconic Repaints. Hope everybody is doing well. Thanks for checking out the channel. If this is your first time here, please like, subscribe, uh, comment on videos, engage. Uh, I really appreciate it. I try to not ignore anybody at all. Uh, I'm thankful to each and every one of you. This uh, channel is kind of slowly, but it's kind of growing into something. It's pretty cool to see. Uh, you know, check out the Instagram page as well, Iconic Repaints. It is where I get most of my traffic. It's where I have the most time there to kind of answer uh, inquiries and questions. I know there's some details that I forget to put into these videos because I spend no time pre-planning um, and really no time editing, as I'm sure most of you could probably tell. Uh, a lot of this is done in like one cut often or the editing is almost non-existent. But uh, yeah, so I do really uh, forget to say something sometimes. So if there's more you guys want to know, uh, check that out. Anyway, that aside, uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys the newest Iconic Repaints Custom fresh off the presses or, or the desk. It's uh, actually, funny enough, a figure that I was planning to do a video review slash discussion video for in the last month or so, but I held off because I'll, part of me was like, you know, I kind of want to try this uh, little custom experiment on it, and I wasn't sure if I was really going to do it. Well, I did it. I, it, was, it was just a matter of time. I knew I would do it. I can't stay away from, from certain urges for long. So uh, this is where we're at. This is the my custom heat ray version of the x plus 25 centimeter godzilla 1999 this figure was initially released i want to say early 2020 uh it does seem like it should be older though huh but uh it is uh your general typical 25 centimeter scale figure so he's about i want to say 10 inches tall that's just my guess he's not unusually or surprisingly large uh, for the scale like other more recent Godzilla figures are like the 2019 or two yeah 2019 figure was uh, pretty beastly for and he was considered a 25 centimeter scale figure it's based off the movie Godzilla 2000 millennium I want to make sure I, I got that correctly uh, a little context behind that is that so the Hasty series ended in 1995 with the death of Godzilla. That series was supposed to be the end of the Toho Studios Godzilla run for a long time. And America was now had the rights to create their Hollywood Godzilla movie. It was supposed to launch its own franchise. Uh, and none of that happened. See, to launch a franchise successfully, it usually helps if your first movie isn't terrible. And I know people who were first introduced to Godzilla via that 1998 movie. Uh, I know people do have a soft spot for it. Some people enjoy it as a guilty pleasure. And some people will sit there and tell me that if I just change the name to anything other than Godzilla, it's not a bad monster and it's not a bad movie. And I am just simply here to say that is all horse shit. It is a bad movie by any spectrum. It, it just is. If you like it, that's great. I mean, I have a guilty pleasure list of movies that I could sit here and say they're not good quality made movies. I enjoy them though. It is what it is. I mean, sometimes, you know, we just need to uh, remove our, our attachment to it and just be able to say, you know, call, call a spade a spade. It's not a good. It's not a good movie. It's just, it's not. It's, it's a pretty awful movie. If you could actually make Gene Reno almost tough to watch, and he was the standout. He was the best cast member of the movie. You, you're not doing. You're not doing yourself any favors. Anyway, the movie. It didn't bomb, but the movie disappointed at the box office, and it definitely tanked with the critics and audience feedback. So, uh, all s hopes of a sequel and the franchise were dashed. I think they got a cartoon series out of it, which was pretty good. But otherwise, uh, Toho sat there and was like, nah, this, uh, this isn't it. So, they sprang back into action. They had a really short hiatus. And within a year, Godzilla was back. 
um, with a brand new design. Very uh, edgy and spiky looking. More reptilian, but all in all, classical Godzilla. Um, you know, not hurt by conventional weaponry, unstoppable, violent, uh, kind of not really good or evil, but he'll attack anybody and anything. So this figure is, again, based off the suit because X Plus has released a few Godzilla figures that are called 1999, but uh, like the Gigantic, for instance, was based more off the Maquette for uh, the movie. Um, you know, the design, the sculpture made before there was an actual suit. And then you had another a 30 centimeter figure, which I don't really think the likeness is all that good to begin with. It is a neat looking figure, but I definitely think this captures a little more of the in-film look. But he's, he's not 100% accurate to the suit either. It's maybe a little more stylized or maybe just something's a little off. Either way, I still really dig the figure. I think it's the coolest figure uh, that has come out for this rendition. The Sakai is awesome too, like the gigantic, but it's meant to not look like the suit. It's meant to look like what Godzilla was designed to be before the movie really got into mo uh, being made. Anyway... I ramble. I uh, I always ramble in these videos, and I always wonder why. Like, dang, like I always take this footage, and I'm like, how do I always run out of time? Because or run out of footage? Because these videos end up easily over ten minutes, and I'm doing it again. See, I talk fast because I try to get this through to this really quickly, and that's why I always forget to say certain things. Don't be like me. So this figure uh, originally came with purple spines, which uh, was done really neatly. I really dug the way they looked. Uh, there was a standard version of this figure and a Rick version, which is an exclusive version of this figure. And the the uh, Rick version had an alternate jaw, so you could remove the closed mouth version of this figure and pop open a wider mouth. And it came with a little tanker ship that could fit inside Godzilla's jaws to replicate the very start of the film where Godzilla showed up uh, in land on land with a giant tanker ship like just straight up in his mouth um again that was i also think toho was kind of throwing a dig at the 1998 movie uh which saw godzilla in the very beginning attack a boat with claw marks but this godzilla the og godzilla just shows up with the whole freaking thing in his mouth i could be wrong that's just the vibe i got it's uh, I don't know, it, it seems too close of a, of a similarity. Otherwise, like, they both just happen to open up with Godzilla attacking a ship. Anyway, there I go again. This is like chaos theory. So unlike older versions of Godzilla, when he would charge up his atomic ray, his fins would light up like a very light blue. His breath is, his fire breath was always blue. Well, for this movie, they changed it to orange. So Godzilla's spines would light up a very bright yellowish orange color and they'd charge up and then he'd release a super powerful orange heat blast out of his mouth. That's the look I was obviously going for. I'm sure that any person even somewhat familiar with Godzilla uh, understood exactly that's what I was going for. So it probably doesn't even need to be explained. But uh, that is why his spines are orange. And that was really the big thing that I attacked here. Otherwise, there is a little bit of dry brushing that I did. A little, I, th I threw some, some browns into his skin, uh, as well as some lighter greens to give his skin a little more texture and, and depth to it. Also, I did finally, like with the light gray, I did a just a, a very thin dry brush on top of that. Um, and that's really all that... Oh, I redid the teeth. I can't forget that. The teeth were very bland on the original figure. So I wanted to kind of make them look a little more natural and organic looking. Also, I did add a slight tint of orange into the enamel of the teeth. Uh, partly because I, when Godzilla was charging his his spines up orange a lot of times you would see it, the the heat rays start to kind of billow up in his mouth and it would reflect off the teeth i didn't want to do it too much because i think it would look stupid but 
with a slight little um, nuance. I think it came out pretty cool. See, the good thing about this hobby, you know, just painting these things, if you, if you do take a wrong turn or if you make a mistake, most issues are fixable. Uh, so it, 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 you can be a little more ambitious with what you want to do. If the teeth came out jacked up, I would have just started again, just made them white again and try something different. Now, so the figure is a, a really nice looking figure. It always was. It, it's, again, it was my favorite, I think, of the uh, Godzilla 1999 figures that have come out. I still think the perfect figure for this suit is coming out. I know some, some resin kits have pretty much perfected the look from the movie. So X Plus is maybe a little bit behind, but uh, I'm sure... You know, I'm, I'm sure things are coming in the future. And Godzilla 2000, I, it was cool because for me, it was the first time seeing the Japanese Godzilla movie in theaters in America. I was obviously too young for the 1954 one, which came over in 1956. And then the 84 one came over, I think in 85. I wasn't around for either of those. So to me, it was it was the first one. It was, it was kind of a neat experience. Um, the movie itself, it was just it was just great to have the um, uh, the real Godzilla back. But aside from that, removing the emotional aspect of that, I think it has a really awesome opening and a really awesome ending. I don't know if I really dig the stuff in between too much. I think the rest is kind of mediocre. I think the the human characters and their plot is a little mediocre. I don't really think they had much chemistry. They weren't very memorable. Um, but you know, my opinion is no better than anybody else's. There's people that that love this movie from start to finish, and uh, yeah, so this is uh, gonna wrap up this review. I cannot wait to show you guys what's coming down the line. So much material that's being prepared as we speak, um, so much work that I'm trying to get through as well, commissions and everything. Just a lot of exciting things coming up. Thank you all again. And uh, I hope everybody has a really safe rest of the week slash weekend. And uh, enjoy, guys. Peace.